In this video, you're going to be shown how to hand in assignments or homework uh, that have been um, sent to you through Google Classroom. So if we go, uh, once you've logged in and you've gone to your class and you see the timeline here, uh, you will look for assignments. Assignments are shown with a little sort of uh, clipboard icon on the left here. And there's information on the right to say whether it's been done or not. If it's been done, it will say done. If it's been marked by the teacher or some feedback has been given by the, by the teacher, maybe a mark or some comments, then it will say returned. Um, all you can do is either add a public comment that is uh, viewable by the entire class, all your classmates and the teachers, uh, or you can click on open and open will take you into another page. This is the uh, page that you see when you click on the open button. As you can see, uh, you can still add a public class comment in the top here. It tells you when it's actually due, and then there's more instructions about how to approach the homework. Your teacher may give you an electronic copy of an assignment, and uh, you may decide to upload an electronic response to the assignment. But even if you hand it, if it's handed out on paper and handed back in on paper, you should always uh, click the mark as done button and then confirm it uh, when it asks if you're sure and that way the, the teacher knows that you submitted it. But there's another reason for it. When you've submitted it, it it's not been marked by the teacher yet. This um, changes from not done to done. Uh, you also have the option to unsubmit it. So maybe you've submitted it accidentally but you forgot to upload some work. You can unsubmit it and then add your work and then submit it again. Um, the place down here, if you want to ask your teachers directly um, a question that you wouldn't want to ask in front of the rest of the class on Google Classroom, you can add private comments here. Only your teachers can see them. But this homework has been submitted and you're now awaiting feedback from the teacher. Something that's really uh, useful, or you should find really useful, is if you click on the sort of three lines that are in the top left hand corner of the main uh, Google Classroom page, you will see um, a little menu and you can get to your courses, you can get to your calendar, but what's really handy is the idea of the to-do list. Okay, when you click on to-do, it will take you <clears throat> to a new page and this is actually um, just two pages uh, cut into one. So when you click on the to-do the to-do uh, icon, it will show you any outstanding homework assignments that, or, 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 or uh, any assignment that you haven't yet done. And you're looking for it to say fantastic, no work to do. It's all going to be colour coded so that you will see the assignments from different classes and it's usually in the order that you have to submit it. So if it's overdue, it'll be at the top. If it's due next, it'll be closer to the top. If it's due a long time in the future, it'll be at the bottom of the list. Now this is your to-do list, so you can use this as a checklist to make sure that you've completed all the assignments that all of your classes, uh, class teachers are expecting you to do. However, if you click on done, which is the tab at the top there, um, what it will do is it will show you the homeworks that you've submitted. And uh, as you can see as this, in this example, we've submitted homework one uh, and it says done. This means that the teacher hasn't marked it yet and hasn't returned it. Uh, if the teacher gives you a grade, the grade will appear here instead of the word done. And that's the end of the video.